Zebra had turned out in full force to make him welcome. The Empire Cinema Leicester Square was the scene of the Royal Command film performance, and Londoners were there in great strength and the fog to see the arrival of the Duke of Edinburgh, Her Majesty the Queen and Princess Margaret. It was indeed a glittering occasion, and a number of leading personalities of the film trade had the honour of presentation before the show. Bouquets were presented, and to the Queen a bouquet of orchids by Bobby Henry, the child film star, and to Princess Margaret by Phyllis Calvert's little daughter Oriel, who was quite rightly in a very gay mood. The film was Scott of the Antarctic, and afterwards many British and American film stars were presented. First, Jack Halbert, who then attended the royal party as they talked with other stars. Sid Field. Valerie Hobson. Glynis John. Alan Ladd, Vivian Lee, and Sir Lawrence. Margaret Lockwood, Myrna Loy, Michael O'Shea and his wife, Virginia Mayo. And then John Mills, star of the command film. The Duke chatting with John Mills and Michael O'Shea. And with Gene Simmons. Certainly it was a thrilling experience for all the stars. And in the world of the cinema, a memorable event though the absence of the king owing to his serious illness was deeply felt. Last Christmas, stupid Charlie 